Hey, what's up guys, it's Tech Confusion, and today I'm going to show you how to remove objects from video using After Effects. Let's jump right in. Now, before we get started, let me just say this doesn't work on every single video clip. I've noticed if the object or person is in front of a very detailed texture, such as this grass here, it has a harder time figuring out what should go in its place, and it just doesn't look completely natural. That being said, for such a complex scene as this, it didn't do half bad. Just remember, the more simple the background, the less noticeable this content-aware fill feature will be. Alright, so to begin, you'll need to drag your footage into your composition timeline. And then we're going to grab our pen tool from this tool tray up here, or press G on your keyboard. Before drawing a mask around the object or person, make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your composition timeline. Now begin to draw a mask around the object you want to remove. This doesn't have to be a perfect mask, but it's good to get it as accurate and as close as possible. When you're done with the mask, toggle the drop down on your video layer and find masks. Let's set our mask to subtract rather than add so that this person is masked out. Then click on the stopwatch next to mask path. Now we're going to advance forward on our timeline and here I'm using the page up and page down keys to go frame by frame. So keep going until you see your object appear from underneath the mask and then just move the mask to cover your object. Just do this for the remainder of the clip or until your subject is off frame. I'm just gonna speed this part up as this is a very repetitive process. So when your object goes completely out of frame, take this blue handle over here on the right side and drag it right to that point on the timeline. What you're doing is trimming your work area so your computer doesn't have to process the full clip if the object you're trying to remove is just in a part of the clip. Then once you have your mask tracking your object, we need to open up the content aware fill window. And just like any other panel, you can access this by going to window in your toolbar and clicking on content aware fill. So now let's go ahead and head over to our content aware fill panel. Under fill method, you'll most likely want to select object. Now the object setting is good at removing moving objects where a lot of detail is required and surface would be good for something like removing a logo from the back of a laptop. So for this shot, I'm going to select object. Now under range, you'll see that it says work area. And this is why we trimmed our work area earlier. Having a smaller work area will speed up this content aware fill process. Now just click on generate fill layer. If you haven't already saved your After Effects project, it's going to pop up with a box asking you where you want to save it prior to running the process. Just choose a place to save and wait for it to finish. It will take quite a bit. However, it's truly amazing what it's doing in the background. What used to take hours and hours now just takes minutes. As you can see when it's done, you can play back your footage and the object is completely gone. Now, like I said, this isn't complete magic. There are going to be clips that are impossible for After Effects to remove an object from. However, if you're in a pinch and really need to remove something, it's definitely worth a try to use this feature. Now, there are ways to improve this feature by creating a reference frame, which is also an option on the Content Aware panel, as you can see here. However, that takes a little bit more advanced skill and some knowledge about Photoshop, so I'm not gonna go quite into that in this video. However, just know that that option is there if After Effects seems to be struggling on the video you'd like to remove an object from. Now I'm going to do one more clip here and I'm just going to try to remove this drone from this shot. I'm going to create a quick mask around it, set the mask to subtract, and toggle the stopwatch for mask path. Then I'm going to advance forward and mask out the drone. All right, now heading over to the content aware fill panel, I'm going to select generate fill layer and wait for it to complete. As you can see here, for the most part, it did a great job at finding what to replace and I'm pretty happy with the results. There's a little spot up in the clouds right up here where you can kind of see it at work. And I'm sure if I tweaked it a little more, I could probably smooth all that out. But really, this is quite impressive. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. I hope it helped you. And if it did, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, guys, peace out.